everybody and welcome back to ho -Oh hunter and this week this week i decided to do something a little different something i haven't done yet um it has totally nothing to do with the fact that i can't find any pokemon cards in my area not at all but i thought this would be a cool idea i think i've seen other youtubers do it but i want to see my luck with these tcg lightning boxes i got these boxes from my local walgreens i actually hit found the walgreens when they had cards they haven't had cards in a few weeks now so wanted to check these out i really like this one because it looks like there's three burning shadows packs and evolutions pack i think this box is going to give me the big hits and i see evolutions two sun and moon base set and i think i saw another burning shadows in the back there plus one bonus card um, it is packaged by the Fairfield Company, which does not have the best reputation in the Pokemon community, but I mean, it, it's, it's legitimate Pokemon packs, legitimate Pokemon cards. There's nothing illegitimate about this. It's just packaged by a third party company, not packaged by the Pokemon Company, but I'm going to bust this open and see what we got going on here. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here today. Thank you for watching my content. Um... If you like what you see here, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Um, we got big weeks coming up. Next week I am starting to be doing some streams as I struggle to open this box here. Start doing some streams. Um, every, I believe I'm probably going to do every, every Monday night and every Wednesday or Friday night. Um, along with my regular open. My, my regular videos that come out. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. It's a reverse hollow tentacle. Very nice. My regular videos that come out. Um, I will be getting back to playthrough videos. I will have a Nuzlocke that will start next week. An Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke. Which will be... Episode for that will come out every Tuesday and Thursday. Oh, we got Burning Shadows, Sun and Moon, Base, Sun and Moon Base, and Evolutions. Um, my pack openings, of course, will continue to happen every week, every week on Wednesday, like it has been. Um, but So streams. So the streams will primarily be other playthrough type videos. It will consist of some fan-made games. No Nuzlocke, nothing crazy. I might do some Pixelmon. I just got myself a new PC, which I'm actually finally using. This is how I'm recording and doing all my stuff now, which is nice. Um, maybe some Pixelmon. I've actually played with that a little bit. It's a lot of fun. I've seen a bunch of other people playing it on YouTube. So I'd sort of like to join it myself just because it's honestly a lot of fun. Esper, Tangela, and a non-hollow Azumarill. First Burning Shadows pack. But like I said, I believe that second box, this is the first box that has two base sets, Sun and Moon. One Burning Shadows and Evolutions. I believe that second box will be the one that's going to give us their good pulls. There's the code for you guys. Trash out of the way. So I'm hopefully going to be pretty consistent with the content. I have a lot of content coming out. I'd like to have you guys join in on these live streams. Next week's live stream will probably be like an introduction kind of thing. Um, just talking about what I'll be doing. I think they'll be two hours each. Start at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. They'll go till about 10, 10.30. Whatever the stream ends. I'm not going to strictly end in two at two hours, but I'd like for it to not be much longer than that. Nice Skarmory. Reverse Zubat. Cosmoan. So far, nothing. Nothing too crazy. I, I've heard that these have been rough. I've heard that these have been hard to pull anything super crazy in. So I'm not expecting anything super wild. Not expecting any kind of crazy pulls, but you never know. And that ruined that pack right there. It's all good. The code for you guys. I do not keep the code cards. I do have some codes that I've actually had friends give me that I'm using. Maybe my first stream will be the um, TCG Online. Open some packs on there. Talk to you guys a little bit. I've played the card game once in a while on there. But it's never been anything too crazy that I've gotten into. I'd more, I'm more so in this. I love the artwork of the cards. The card game is fun. It's something fun if I get into it more, if I start playing it more consistently. Whoa! Full art trainer. Whoa. Wait a second. Am I wrong, guys? Did that... Did, what, did, that was that was a... What? That... Ah! Wow. Okay. That, that was a green code, and I got a full art trainer. Is that considered an error pack? Is that what we would consider an error pack? That I don't know. I didn't have any sleeves prepared, so I just pulled some out. 
But look at that, full art trainer from this base set, Sun and Moon pack. Don't know the value, the value would be down here at the bottom right corner, like all my other videos. But that looks very nice. Full art trainer, first box. Okay, let's see if we can get something big out of this Evolutions pack. Something big. Even just the holographic, the reverse holo Charizard, those are still some pretty valuable cards. Of course, the, I believe it's Mega Charizard EX. We're back into looking at some EX cards again. So, see, see what I can get out of this. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the Sun and Moon base there. I don't think I've ever pulled anything really great out of Sun and Moon base. Messed up the card trick. So there's our rare. It's a Dog Trio. Very nice looking Surf and Pikachu. Misty's Determination. Porygon. Ponyta. A Drowsy. Electabuzz. Bullpix. Sandshrew. And a Reverse Raichu. Raichu. Reverse Rare. That's actually pretty nice. Okay, so first box. Really only gave us this, but a full art trainer. That is, that's something, something to be proud about. Full art trainer, sun and moon, base set. But the next box, this is the box I'm convinced we're going to get the big hits out of. One evolution is three burning shadows packs. Can we get that rainbow rare Charizard? Can we get ho OGX full art? Just the regular ho OGX. I, I believe I need both of those cards for my collection. So, I'm hoping to get something good out of this. We got something good out of the first box. Wonder what that bonus card's gonna be. I never expect bonus cards in any of these things to be super crazy. But let's see. Yeah, Re reverse ghastly, okay. I guess that's about as good as I could have expected. Well, this is all scuffed up. That's a rough looking card right now. Okay guys, let's see. We got Blastoise Art Evolutions and three Marshadow. I'll get into one of the Burning Shadows first. I'll probably get into the Evolutions before the last Burning Shadows, but I personally love Burning Shadows. I think it is a very, very cool set. A lot of cool stuff inside this set. And I'm, I'm just hoping we can get something good out of this. I'm really, really hoping we get something good because I haven't had the best of luck with Burning Shadows recently. Um, back when Target restocked the ETBs, I believe at the beginning of 2020, Around the time of, I think, base set for Sword and Shield. Pretty stocked up, and I bought out a bunch of those, and I opened up a few of those here on the channel, but there was nothing super crazy in those ETBs, which is a shame. ETBs are probably my favorite item that Pokemon comes out with. A Turtonator non-holographic. Cannot tell you how many times I've seen that card. Okay. Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. It's a fun set. It's a very fun set. Any set that has Charizard, of course, is a fun set. Can't can't complain about that. I believe everyone likes a good Charizard. Um, that's why it's been hard to really get a hold of any Pokemon cards recently, because there have been Charizards in the past three out of the four sets. Um, well, I, I believe, actually, I take that back, Vivid Voltage also had a Charizard in it. So it's been tough, but hey... Look at that sad Charmander. That's how I feel when I walk into my local Target and there's no Pokemon cards. Moral, Meow Stick, and a Lycanroc non-holographic. Okay, guys. Whew. It's it's a little a little rough in here. It's a little rough. No crazy pulls. I gotta remember three, not four, but three. X Y cards. We have a double colorless energy, Machoke, Blastoid Spirit Link, Caterpie, Doe Duo, Pikachu, Machop, Growlithe, Reverse Machamp, very nice, and a Beedrill non holographic rare. Okay. Let's see. If this last if this box was the same as the last box, this is gonna be a hit. One hit per box. I, I can go with that. Give me something good. Give me a full art of some sort. Give me something crazy. Give me something wild. Something to get excited about here with the last pack. Can we get that last pack magic? Come on, guys. Help me out here. Make sure to leave a like. Comment below which one of these boxes you believe did the best. And would you buy this yourself? 
is is it a waste of money buying this? I believe it was sixteen, eighteen dollars for one of these boxes, four packs and a bonus card. I don't know. I, I don't know if this is worth it. I don't know if I'll if I'll do it again. But let me know below. Make sure to subscribe. All this fun stuff coming out, live streams, Nuzlocke, some more pack openings. Just a lot of fun stuff going on here on the channel. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited too. Poe Town, what do we got? Crabominable, non-holographic, rare. So, only pull today's opening. Full art trainer. Still looks pretty nice. It looks pretty nice. A little, little off-center, but hey. It's a nice full art trainer. And that's that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I've said throughout the video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like. Helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next Pokemon video.